So I wanted to go over how to use a muscle percussion tool on your hip muscles. More specifically, the piriformis, gluteus maximus, and the gluteus medius muscle. All three of those muscles, they can become sensitive and sometimes give you symptoms such as tightness, pain, or they can also be contributing to other dysfunctions or problems in the body. But nonetheless, I wanna show you how to use a muscle percussion tool that'll help reduce some of the sensitivity and possibly give you some relief. So here's how you do it, is we're gonna start with level one. It just seems to be a little more tolerable um, initially. So what you're gonna do is lie on your side. Here we go. So the area you're gonna target is the gluteus medius muscle, which is right on the side of the hip here. And you're just gonna go in a slow, controlled manner, just kind of spanning all the way across the side of the hip there. You can go a little bit higher, a little bit lower on that area, explore that side portion of the hip on that gluteus medius muscle. You may find some areas that are a little more tender than others, go in and spend a little bit of time there. I'm not applying pressure down into my hip, I'm just using the weight of the tool. However, if you do prefer and feel like deeper pressure would be helpful for you, but then by all means, do it to your tolerance. But it's not necessary to improve the sensitivity. Then what you're gonna do is go towards the back of the hip. So if you feel that there's a bone on the side of the hip here, if you start there and work towards the back, you'll hit a few of the hip muscles, such as your quadratus femoris, the piriformis, the gluteus maximus, all those muscles on the back side of the hip there. You'll start using the percussion on that area. Once again, some areas may be more sensitive than others. That is completely acceptable. Um, just spend a little time on those areas that are sensitive. So that's how we use the muscle percussion tools on the gluteus muscles. Hope that was helpful and I'll see you in the next one.